28 BH BE J flight here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And uh, J flight is the number one selling travel trailer, period. Uh, has been for many years since 2005. That's 10 consecutive model years and going on 11 at the time of this filming. Question is why? Why is this just uh, so obviously become the dominant trailer in the travel trailer market? They sell almost more than double the number two. It's that large of a gap. You're going to see more features better features, higher quality features, better quality construction here. Now, keep in mind, every single travel trailer is the best for a different reason. I, I'll show you the, re the ways where J-Flight has kind of proven itself to me over years of service here at our dealership to be the best in many ways. But, you know, every trailer is good for different reasons. So, uh, things like uh, the power awning, power tongue jack, you can find those on almost any camper nowadays. But, you have to start looking at the grade of the motor in the appliance. Jayco uses the best quality grades they can in things like your power awning, power tongue jack, so they move faster, they work easier, they don't overstress and last longer. Uh, you see the uh, the LED light strip at the base of the awning. A lot of folks are starting to put this up there, and Jayco's really one of the reasons why. They facilitated the need for everyone else to play catch up because they were way ahead of that game. Now keep in mind, things like this nicer power awning and stuff like that, like the thermal package you'll see in this video, some of the, uh, the options inside, they are optional. They're not going to be on every single 28 BHBE. This one may look different from your pictures, and uh, that's because we take uh, unique pictures for every single model we bring in so that uh, you know the pictures accurately reflect the unit. Now, another area where Jago has always trumped almost everybody, and it's, it's become such an issue that other manufacturers have tried to, uh, to play catch up again, is the two-year warranty. Jago's have double the warranty of basically in almost everybody else in this class. Now I have seen a few manufacturers throughout this uh, extremely limited two-year warranty where uh, basically it only covers so many dollars worth it's not a full blanket coverage. To this date I'm not aware of anyone that really in this class has any warranty that matches a J-Flight. Um, I love the, uh, the high contrast between the front sort of gunmetal gray and the, the side traditional white. You know, this, this is very modern looking, but still a camper, you know, it still has that look to it. It's still homey and, and resonant of that type of effect. The black trim really sets that all off too. Uh, I have the sheath pulled off so you can see the twin 30 pound propane tanks, which gives you 50% more uh, cold storage capacity. I shoved the camera under the belly a few minutes ago to show you the underbelly enclosure. What I didn't have a chance to talk about right then was how Jayco attaches their underbelly enclosure. Uh, this has an I-beam frame, the same type of I-beam frame used on like a Class A diesel pusher. It's just a shorter I-beam. Uh, Jayco mounts a corrugated enclosed underbelly material on top of the lip of that I-beam. They don't bolt it to the bottom of the I-beam. That is because if you bolt it to the bottom, it is inclined over time to start sagging. And then it's not enclosed, it's just sort of covered, and then it doesn't do its job. Um, we like to put rear ladders on these whenever we can because these are truly walkable roofs. Jayco uses a Magnum truss roof system that holds at least 4,500 pounds. It's essentially 50% stronger than basically anything else in this class. Standard outside shower, not a glorious item, but you're going to find when you go camping, it's something you'll use all the time. It's a very handy feature. I wish I had one on mine. I, uh, I don't know, I had a, a moment of weakness and I didn't go with the shower and I really wish I did. Uh, you might have noticed up top the oversized downspouts. That's going to cut down on the black streaks on your camper. Um, this floor plan has a second entry door direct to the bathroom. And that is awesome because it will cut down on so much foot traffic and dirt getting cut through your, or tracked through your camper. It's not even funny. Um, the uh, oversized entry handle here, standard thing on a J flight. It's the nicer, better product, you know. If you're going to walk in, and uh, along with that, this is something I, I always forget to talk about because you take it for granted. They have wider doors. Their entry door is wider. Um, you know, it's it's usually two or three inches wider, and it makes such a difference. You can People have, have felt that. They've walked in and go, is this bigger? And yeah, it absolutely is. Um, speaking of bigger, J flights. Let me turn on some lights here. You have a handy, by the way, control center right here, right next to your entry door, and it can easily be tucked away. It's just a, it's a perfect little pocket for like cell phones or anything like that. But your slides here, your awning, speaking of which, let me kind of show you that. I mentioned how they have a better quality awning. Ask a, uh, you know, if you're shopping around, ask the guy to hook it up to power and roll the awning in. You see how fast this one moves? Most of them don't. Most of them move really, really slow. And I've actually seen some power awnings that are not strong enough to roll themselves up, which is 
kind of unfortunate. It's very shocking. Anyway, um, these are, I was talking about being bigger. These are 81 inches tall inside. That's three inches taller than industry standard. That means more room in the cabinets, more headroom in the shower. And back there in those bunks, it means three extra inches of room so the kids aren't banging their head against the ceiling panels. Um, this color scheme, I think, is called coffee. But again, if the pictures look different from this video, remember that the pictures are uh, you know, more accurate to the actual unit. We do try to get up-to-date interior photos. What you're looking at here is an upgraded hide-to-bed sofa. If you kind of take a look through our picture tour, you'll see where I have this all folded out. It forms into a memory foam queen hide-to-bed. There's no inner springs, there's no bars in your back, there's no air beds that can potentially go flat. Um, the few manufacturers I've seen that are still using air beds generally are using better ones, though. Um, the big King U dinette here does a couple really unique things for you. Uh, first of all, obviously it can fold down into a bigger sleeper, but if you notice in my video, this rear bench floats. You can see how it's not made of wood like everything else. It is sort of like its own little floating storage ottoman. Now what's really cool, if you've got a, a baby baby with you, you can remove this table, slide that bench forward to create a pocket back here, and that's a pack and play any day of the week. And, uh, you know, new moms and dads, as soon as I we had my daughter, I was like, oh, oh, we have a pack and play built into our camper. That's awesome, because otherwise they take up so much room. But man, they're handy. You have to bring them. Um, you notice that even the windows on the sides of the slide outs do open for ventilation. And the fact, uh, some manufacturers will put windows here, but they won't open. Jayco goes both steps. They put the window and they open. And you're going to want that extra cross breeze, because you're going to find, unless it's just cooking hot, you're going to want that fresh air breezing through. Uh, you might notice all of your lighting inside. Let me turn this off so you get a look at it. All of your interior lighting is all LED lighting. It is brighter. It uses less energy. Uh, it's just it's just better overall. It costs a couple cents more per fixture. And you think a couple cents, big deal. Well, when you're a big company like Jayco and you build just thousands of RVs every year, that couple cents times a thousand units adds up, but that's that's their commitment to their customer. Uh, you know, here, this is uh, this has an elite package, and this RV does. That's an upgrade package that includes things like your skylight, better cabinet doors and things, because these things, they'll, have, they'll probably outlast you. But notice that even in this overhead shelf, because these RVs are taller, they had bigger cabinets. They put a middle shelf in here to double the storage you get out of this cabinet. And I love this overhead light fixture. It's just very sharp looking. Uh, the sink, you see that uh, the, the sink covers are in place here to give you uh, sort of like extra um, prep space. We have a nicer residential style sprayer faucet in here. The um, extra power outlets in the, in the kitchen here. That's actually one of those areas people don't realize in aluminum frame or aluminum skinned wood frame travel trailer actually can have more power outlets for a couple reasons. One, because it's not laminated, you can fish wires through the walls, and two, there's just different regulations. Standard item in a J flight is the uh, eight cubic foot refrigerator, uh, and that is a, uh, that's, that's no small thing. Most manufacturers have a six. Almost everybody has a six. Jayco's standard eight means they have 33% more cold storage in this floor plan, and when you have bunk capacities and uh, and fold down sofa sleeping capacity is of eight to ten people it's a big deal now notice they separate here you have four of these big dresser drawers full extensions full plywood box constructed even the front panel a lot of manufacturers won't put plywood here they'll skimp on that and just attach the side to the face plate and it doesn't hold up as well um now notice you have extra hanging storage here as well as a separate pantry they allow you to keep all that stuff separated uh so you know you can feed and sleep and store stuff for every person in this camper huge awesome bathroom this uh there's a lot of manufacturers building this type of floor plan it's become just the hottest thing out there um and for good reason it's good storage good sleeping but this j flight has one of the best bathrooms it has this big massive shower pan in here and again this is taller you can actually stand in this shower i mean just to, to give you an example here I am. My head's not in the bubble. I'm 6'3 with boots on, and I still have headroom above my head. That's what that extra three inches gets you. Not to mention things like porcelain stool. And now, this is no small thing. It's easily overlooked. You see how the sink and the medicine cabinet are mounted on an angle? You don't think about that because that's how it's supposed to be. Most manufacturers will simply mount a mirror or a medicine cabinet flat against that wall. 
Well, if the sink's over here and the mirror's this way, how are you supposed to shower, shave, get ready? You know, they make it very difficult. Your bedding in a Jayco is far better. They use Denver mattress bedding on all bunks, the hide bed sofa, and your master bed. Long story short, anywhere you find a Jayco, they spend more money on your, your sleeping areas than anybody else. And I love that both upper and lower bunks have their own little LED nightlight behind the curtain. So you're not going to interrupt people. A built-in big ladder. Jayco uses the biggest ladders uh, of anyone I've ever seen. They have bigger, wider planks. They're stronger. They hold more weight. If you have, say, you know, teenage kids or maybe just kids home from college in their 20s that want to go camping with you, that ladder can get them up there. Those cheap little wooden peg ladders will not. Central air and central heat, of course. I mentioned the thermal package outside, and that's something you can't see. But not only does that enclose the underbelly, but they take a layer of R14 Astrofoil double-sided insulation, literally stuff created by NASA for space capsule re-entry, no joke. Layer that in the floor, the ceiling, your slide-out floor. So remember when I told you about using that pack-and-play over here? Because we put the thermal package in, that baby won't get cold at night. It'll sleep better, you'll sleep better. We have upgraded the uh, entertainment system here to a uh, all-in-one Bluetooth, DVD, CD, outside speaker, everything in one stereo. Um, now, that we've also included with that the uh, LED flat screen television. Well, what I love about this floor plan is mom and dad have a private space up front, but this one TV can serve uh, two needs. And you see that they take the time to mirror the back of that. That's no small thing either. Uh, even though you don't see it most of the time, when this is flipped this way and you walk around here, into the bedroom and turn on a light, you get double duty out of the same light fixture because that mirror helps spread light around and it keeps it brighter in here. And there's still another light up front I haven't flipped on and I don't think you need it. This bed is a, uh, I mentioned a Denver mattress. Again, residential grade mattress, a lot better than most camper beds. Is it the, uh, you know, a couple thousand dollars sleep number bed? No, but it's a lot better than you get in a, uh, in a camper. Now, uh, keep in mind, this is a true 80 inch queen. Sheets will fit this, normal queen sheets. Bedside stands with power outlets for CPAP machines and charging your cell phones. We have an actual pocket door here so that mom and dad have their own privacy instead of uh, dealing with curtains. A um, couple things I forgot to mention around this side here. The shoe garage. It's the tiniest little thing. and It's one of my favorite parts of this RV. Because in a bunkhouse like this, the shoes end up in this giant pile by the door. And they look awful and you're constantly tripping on them. And you don't have to worry about that here. Moms, dads, and grandpas will recognize this, and grandmas, I'm sorry, will recognize this right here as the timeout chair. But thankfully, this is the perfect place to sit down and tie up your shoes or another space to keep toys or shoes out of the way. Um, I mentioned the uh, uh, better materials. They use Shaw carpeting, residential carpeting in here. And if you look, that's that Astrofoil stuff I was telling you about. Lift up other people's carpeting on their slide outs. If you don't see that, then the slide is not insulated. And I see a lot of people throw this Four Seasons uh, garbage. I mean, uh, this Four Seasons stuff everywhere on entry level budget point campers. There are Four Seasons RVs out there, but most of them that claim that are definitely not. So give us a call 800 256 5196. Halid RV of Coldwater Mission. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. Happy camping.